All right, now let's save something on the computer of the person. So what I'm gonna do here is just come here and I'm gonna create a form, okay? A real quick form. I wanna say class, JS form, JS, yeah, form, whatever. And I wanna put an input. And this will have nothing. Type will be text, placeholder, will be what is your name and that's it okay let's look at it in action sorry let me close the screen mm -hmm. okay what is your name very simple all right now if you want to again you need to do some fucking uh, css and whatever but first things first Let's create, let's close the clock. Let's create a new file called greeting.js. All right. And let's add this beautiful thing here. Done. All right. Now on greeting, again, we're going to create a function in it. This is just my good practice. And in it over here, no problem. Okay. And we need to also select our two players. First player will be class JS form and the other one will be input. Okay. Now you don't have to do what I'm going to do because what I usually do is that I take the form, right? And I say document query selector, blah, blah, blah. And then I get the input based on the father. If you want to, you can just put a class here on the input and it will still work, okay? All right, now let's do input, very simple, document that query selector. Uh, input like this. But instead of document, form. All right, now there is something you need to know. There is There are many methods, one is Query selector, this one gets any selector, even class or in the CSS way, a class or a tag or an ID or a class inside like this. You can do this, for example, if you want to. That is one. The other one is query selector all. That means all of them. It will take all of them. Query selector gets the first one that he finds. Query selector all gets all of them. You also have query, uh, no, get elements by class name, which will give you an array Remember arrays like this? We'll give you an array of all the elements that he finds. I don't use this one because it's a pain in the ass to get one element outside of that array. The reason is because even if it's only one class name that he found, he's going to put it inside of an array and that is not fun. So that's why I don't do it this way. Uh, the other one is get element by ID. You know that one and get element by tag name would be to get elements by tag. This means input, body, HTML, div, section, whatever. Okay. Now, my dear, dear people, we need to learn something super sexy and that is called local storage. Local storage is the way that you can save small pieces of information in the computer of your user. I want to go to any website, this one, for example, and we'll see in inspect. If we go to application and we go here and we select local storage, as you can see here, I they already saved some local storage to me. Look at that. They say 12 hour clock false momentum message name superstar. I want to change this and I want to put Nico. Nico, and I'm going to change 12 hour clock and I'm going to put true. Okay. You just wanted to see what happens today. It saves today. Okay. Background. Let's change background to eight. Okay. So these fuckers, they are saving stuff on my browser. Okay. On my computer. Now let's start to refresh. Keep in mind that I changed the background. I changed the color, the, the hour, and I changed the name. So we refresh. Oh, and the background was changed. I think the friend wasn't here. It changed 12 hour clock stays to true. So look at that 12 hour clock is true. If I make false, 
and I refresh different fucking clock I think this is the only one that they kept sweet refresh look at that it switches between 12 hour clock or not and this is something that is called local storage you can save a small pieces of information, a small JavaScript pieces of information, such as this one, 12 hour clock, true or false. In our case, what we are going to save is going to be the name of the person. So let's just fuck around for a bit with local storage and let's do this. Local storage, set item, Nico, and the value is going to be true. For example, before that goes away, Let's come to our website, local storage, and let me kill everything. All right. And as you can see, if we refresh, there is nothing over here. Okay. Now, if I set this, we go to application and now Nico is true. That is cool as fuck. Now I'm going to refresh many times. And as you can see, local storage stays with me. That is awesome. And now what I'm going to do is try to get something for local from local storage. So I'm going to say local storage that get item Nico. And it says true, which is here. I'm going to change Nico to this. And now I will refresh local storage get item Nico. And there it is. So here we're saving something. Now what happens if I get something like local storage get item username it says no no is a new data type for you just like true and false no is like doesn't exist undefined can't find it kind of thing okay so this is exactly what we're going to do what we're going to do is we're going to make a function and this function is going to be called load name all right now here we're going to call it load name what load name is going to do is going to try to get this bad boy, all right, from the local storage. So we're gonna say const current user equals local storage dot get item and let's just create a constant here as a user storage local storage and we're going to call this current user because I don't want to be copy pasting this thing and I want to put it there okay so we're going to say load name current user this one okay and this is going to give me a value just like this one gave me no so I'm going to check and I want to say if current user is equals to no here we're going to do something okay else we're going to do something else. Okay. That is the first thing we need to do. Now, what are we going to do? It's very simple. There are going to be over here. We're going to handle what happens when there is actually a user on the local storage. Okay. And on the other one, we're going to see what happens when there is no user on the local storage. So both of these things form an input. We are going to make them display none. Let's go here. And here on JS form, let's add one class called form. Whoa, 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 whoa. Retarded Apple keyboard form. Here it is. Fuck. Okay. Form. And now here, we're going to say form display none. All right. And also, we're going to get a, let's make a H2, H4 class js greetings and greetings and this will have nothing inside of it and this will be display none and we're going to create a class called showing and we're going to say display block okay this will make sense later all right, and now here what we're gonna do is that, let's just first go in here and check and refresh. So as you can see, this is not there. 
as we, we're gonna say if the current user is not new what we're gonna do is we're gonna paint the name so let's come here let's make a function called paint name paint greeting and this paint greeting takes one argument called uh, user no just text it takes a text argument okay awesome and what this is going to do is we all oh, we forgot to get the greeting here we're gonna say comma greeting equals document dot query selector js greetings okay perfect and what this is going to do is that it's going to say greeting dot inner text equals hello plus the text that we got okay so if current user it is on the local storage here remember this is when he is not or she is not and this here is when she is okay so when she is and this is a text not no but text what we're gonna do is we're gonna just call the function paint greeting with the text that we just got from the local storage sexy okay so let's try to fake this one and also i forgot we need to take greeting and we need to do class list add and we need to make a class list name called cl showing class name showing and we're gonna add the class showing all right and let's just check and let's just say that if we're gonna paint the text we need to hide the form so let's do class list remove showing all right so now if I refresh, nothing is gonna happen because this part is being executed because the current user is no. Now on the next one, or oh, you know what? Let's just do it right here real quick before we go to a commercial break. Let's come to application. Let's, let's create one current user key. So now our application, when we reload, is going to find it and is going to execute this paint greeting function we refresh and it says hello blah 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 because the current user is not new this means that this is not true this means that it's going to paint it and it's right here see you on the next one where we are going to save the user and get the input of the person see you there bye bye